Though historians continue to debate the date of St. George's birth, most agree that he died April 23, 303 AD. It is unknown who beatified St. George, but Pope Galatius I canonized him. St. George is the patron saint of England and is known as the dragon-slaying martyr. George was born to a Roman officer and Greek native, both of whom came from wealthy families and practiced Christianity. When he was old enough, George entered the Roman army under Diocletian, a friend of his father's. George excelled in the army and by his late twenties was given a prominent promotion. George served as an imperial guard for the emperor at Nicodemia until he learned of Diocletian's command to kill any Christians the army discovered. George boldly pronounced his faith in Christ to his superior, who did not want to harm his friendship with George's father and also did not want to lose George. It is believed Diocletian was willing to keep George's faith a secret, but George pronounced his faith again among his peers. Before so many witnesses, Diocletian could do nothing but attempt to convert George to serve Roman gods. He offered land, money, and slaves if only George would offer a sacrifice to a Roman god, but each offer was refused. Finally, after exhausting all other options, Diocletian was forced to order George's execution. Before his sentence was to be carried out, George gave all of his wealth to the poor and was tortured several times. He was lacerated on a wheel of swords and required resuscitation three times, but he still refused to recant his faith. On April 23, 303 AD, George was decapitated and his body was sent to Lydda for burial. Other Christians honored George, who from then on was considered a martyr. There are several stories about George's time in the Roman infantry. One tells of a princess sent as an offering to a dragon. Before she could be eaten, George appeared and slayed the beast. Afterward, the entire kingdom was converted to Christianity. This story greatly influences the various depictions of St. George, which often show him slaying a dragon. The dragon he slays represents Christ's enemies, such as evil acts and demons. (laughs) ¶¶ 